got a man who's always late every time we have a date but I love him Lord I've got to have him I'm gonna walk right up to his gate see if I can get that dad straight cause I need him Lord I've got to have him is you is or is you ain't my baby the way you're acting lately baby what makes me wanna doubt you is still my baby baby seems your flame in my heart done run out a woman is a creature that's always been strange and when you think you found her out the girl is trying to mind again again and again and it is you is or it is you ain't my baby maybe baby found somebody new are you Still my baby true I, I got a man who's always late Every time we have a date But I love him Lord, I've got to have him I'm gonna walk right up to his gate See if I can get that daddy straight Cause I need him Lord, I've got to have him. Is you is or is you ain't my baby? Maybe baby found somebody new. Are you my baby? Still my baby true? Are you my baby? Still my baby? True. Hi, hello, Doctor Blunt. How are you? Thank Classical you. Thank jazz you. artist. Oh, you are the only song. way I roll. I see that. There you go. Tell our audience how did you get started in music? Oh my goodness! You know, I I met a gentleman by the name of Doctor Aaron Bell when I was studying actually business in school, mm -hmm. and uh, at that time I was just muttering around with the, the bass guitar. He was a famous bassist. He played with Duke Ellington. And uh, I asked him to teach me. And uh, Space here started from there. I started with the bass lessons and, and then finally uh, got into jazz singing. Mm -hmm. I have a jazz voice. Mm -hmm. And I love singing jazz. I love singing jazz and I love jazz lovers. The, the, the music that you sing, who was this song, Is You Is or Is You Ain't? Who was that song? Oh my goodness, uh, uh, that is um, um, uh, just a very fine artist. Um, 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 I think it was, it was Louis, Louis. Louis Jordan, yeah. Louis Jordan, thank you, <laughs> Louis Jordan. You know, that was just one of many wonderful songs, fun songs, mm -hmm. that was created by that outstanding artist. Now you sing in and around the Essex County, Hudson County area. Where have some of your venues been? Oh my goodness, I've performed in New York. I formed at many of the well-known country clubs here in Jersey, which is my hometown, Newark, New Jersey. I've performed in many of the uh, finer bistros in, uh, in the Newark and surrounding areas. Also worked the Chitlin Circuit, that's called paying your dues, okay. working the Chitlin Circuit. And it has all indeed been a total blast for me. Who are some of the artists that, you know, inspired you as you were coming through? Some of the famous artists that you know. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald. I love Ella. Of course, my girl Sarah Vaughn from my hometown, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, just a lot of wonderful, uh, clean singers. I, I, I look for those clean singers. And that's, I like, I would, that's my style. That's mm -hmm. the style that I choose to, uh, to, um, to copy. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just. And I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Al Al Alberta Hunter, uh, uh, just a lot of wonderful singers. I want to tell our audience about your your CD. 
T talk about this, if you would. Uh, it's called Basicana. It's a North American interpretation of Brazilian jazz. I love Brazilian jazz. Mm -hmm. It's very romantic, very beautiful music. And uh, so what we did is we took um, a lot of the, uh, the the styles from here mm -hmm. and combined them with the uh, that Latin flavor, mm -hmm. that salsa carib, uh, those warm tropical breezes. Do you... Write some of your own yes, music? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All those songs on there were written, uh, composed by myself and a gentleman by the name of uh, Clemente, mm -hmm. which is actually, his his name is Phil Clemente. He is actually the uh, first cousin of the famous baseball. Um, Roberto, Clemente? Roberto Clemente. Okay. Yes. Now, on this particular album, how can one get it if they want to get the CD? Where, 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 where do we go to get this? Well, it's it's uh, you can find it in many, many of the more famous uh, and uh, uh, local stores mm -hmm. in the area, in mm -hmm. your area as well. Yeah. Now, do you consider yourself a natural singer? Were you trained? Are you just kind of gravitate toward this naturally? Uh, no, I, I was trained. I was trained. Where did you receive I, I went your to training? School. Well, Dr. Aaron Bell, mm -hmm. right? Many, many hours. Many hours was spent uh, at the piano just learning how to place pitch. And uh, let's see, there's a, a wonderful woman in New York, Joan Colvin. Uh, I also studied at Rutgers briefly mm -hmm. and also in Long Island at uh, SUNY College. What instruments do you play? Well, I studied bass. That was my instrument. Uh, upright, acoustic, uh, 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 electric bass, and that was always a blast. Uh, I occasionally play in a lot of the blues bands mm -hmm. today. Have you ever sang any other music? Have you sang R and B? Have you sang any other music? Or, or you've always been a classical jazz artist. Well, trained a classical jazz artist mm -hmm. and having a jazz voice, mm -hmm. you know, blues. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've sung some other stuff. I've sung some R&B. Uh, mm -hmm. Also sung some classical as well because mm -hmm. when you're in school and you're training as part of your repertoire of uh, songs to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, but jazz, I found my heart, my love falls in jazz. Also done some gospel. Oh, got to do gospel. Uh, got to do gospel. Uh, uh, yeah, many, many of our... our Artists come through the gospel circuit. They've done gospel as well. Yes. As, as a matter of fact, uh, it has kind of been the foundation for many of our... Most definitely. Most of, it's the foundation of our people. Exactly. Have you thought about... I, I, I want to ask your opinion. Yes. This this new form of music called hip-hop mm -hmm. has taken kind of over. Mm -hmm. A classical person like you doing jazz, what is your opinion of hip-hop music? Well, let me tell you what they... A lot of the young hip-hoppers come to me. They come to me for... Uh, 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 you, uh, for them, it would be new ideas because the music of yesterday is new music for them today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I get a lot of the younger guys coming to me asking for um, uh, ch uh, uh, tracks mm -hmm. uh, and just uh, those nuances and those those beautiful uh, runs and jazz runs that we do uh, that were once done in back in the day mm -hmm. that they can incorporate that into their music. Mm -hmm. So actually, when I'm out performing. You'd be surprised. I get a lot, a lot more young, young people that are there and, and quite interested, quite interested in the music because for them, it's new music. Right. Talk to the younger audience that's listening to your style of music that are growing up on hip hop or in my era, remembering rhythm and blues. I'm a mm -hmm. Temptations and Marvin Gaye fan and all, all those right. days. But mm -hmm. talk to the younger audience about classical jazz and how it is the American music, the the early influences of afro america in that you talk to that young mm -hmm. audience well without one there would not be another uh jazz is the foundation it is our music we it is our music jazz is a performance style mm. and uh the thing that makes jazz so wonderful is that you never no two performances are the same and uh when you want to learn really about the heart and soul of of, of music jazz jazz gospel it's just just a wonderful thing, and to know jazz is to enhance. If you're in, into any other type of music, to enhance what you're doing as mm -hmm. far as uh, if you're a a music uh, a creator, hip hop artist, it always it always mm -hmm. can uh, spice up or mm -hmm. uh, make better. You know mm -hmm. those those hip hop songs, and just just gives you a greater understanding of who you are and where you want to go. Sounds like a sounds like a plan. Certainly, we want our young folks to understand the culture of our country, culture mm -hmm. of our of our community, mm -hmm. and the culture of our culture. That's right. And so, That's jazz right. is the basis for that. That's right. I certainly enjoyed 
your first song. What are you going to do for us next? I'm going to do a song that was uh, uh, made famous by uh, uh, the incomparable Mr. Duke Ellington, written by Billy Strayhorn. The song is entitled Take the A Train. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the song styles of Miss Jackie Johnson. Jackie, take us home with Take the A Train. Well, all right. Play it, guys. Play it. If you should take the A train, you'll find you'll meet the coolest cats that swing in Harlem. If you should miss the A train, you'll find you miss the coolest cats that swing in Harlem. So hurry, 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 get on board, that train is coming fast. Can't you hear that train a coming? It's a party on, it's gonna last. So hurry on, you better get aboard and don't be shy, come alive. Soon we'll be cool and I'll group way up in Harlem. Shuba booba do dip thing, ya do ba do ya dum da da da. Do ya 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 Jackie Johnson, Jackie Johnson. Isn't she great? Isn't she great, Jackie Johnson? Oh, thank you. You Jackie, just before we go off, I want to thank you, first of all, for coming. Oh. It's been a pleasure. You're so talented. Thank you for having me. Please let our viewing audience know two things. One, if they want to to have you perform, yes. how can they reach you? How can they get this, this CD one more time? I want folks to know about what you're doing. Yes. Well, my email is jjmontclair at aol.com. Uh, I'm performing and I'm available to perform. Uh, just give me an email and uh, we can talk out all the details. My CD is uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, in, pretty uh, in a lot of uh, different stores, but you can always email me uh, and I will send you an autograph. Sugar. Call my baby my sugar. That's the reason why maybe that sugar baby is mine. Oh, I'm raving up about him funny. He never has any money. The best he can give me is honey. And that I can have any time. My man is so refined. You can't hide. There's nothing like him in town. To make him more complete because he's so sweet and so round. I'm talking about sugar, sugar, sugar. I'm loving my sugar, sugar, sugar. That's the reason why maybe that sugar baby is mine. Sugar, I call my baby my sugar. That's the reason why maybe that sugar baby is mine. Oh, I'm raving about him funny He never has any money 
The best he can give me is honey And that I can have any time My man is so refined You can't hide There's nothing like him in town To make him more complete Because he's so sweet and so brown I'm talking about sugar, sugar, sugar I'm loving my sugar, sugar, sugar That's the reason why maybe That sugar baby is mine, yeah To make him more complete because he's so sweet and so brown. I'm talking about sugar, sugar, sugar. I'm loving my sugar, sugar, sugar. That's the reason why maybe that sugar baby is mine. Thank you, thank you, Jackie, 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 Jack. How you Hello, doing, Dr. Blunt? How, How are, are you? you? It is. Ah, so good sugar, to have you on this sugar. show. That's right. You give me some, give me some of that oh, sugar. Oh my goodness, I was getting some <laughs> sugar from your baby. How are you? I'm fine. Ooh, I'm fine. What a pleasure to see you again. Well, I'm glad to have you on the show. You always bring such talent, the song stylings of Miss Jackie. I love Thank it to you. death. Thank Jackie, you, Jackie. I got to ask you a couple of things. First of all, talk a little bit about the song. Seems to have something called scatting. Yes. Ex explain that to our viewing audience. Well, scatting uh, started with uh, Louis Armstrong, and it was just a, a method of uh, a lot of times. You know, when you're when you're a singer. The, the lyrics, so many lyrics, thousands and thousands of lyrics. And what he did is that upon forgetting the lyrics, he started to scat. So it's basically what, what you're doing, you're singing a counter line, the wordless, wordless uh, phrases. L Louis Armstrong, were, were there any females that, that were um, this scatting as well? Ella Fitzgerald, the incomparable Miss Ella. You not got a chance to see her. Oh my goodness, she was fabulous, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, uh, um, all the famous, all the all the premier jazz singers. Mm. Oh, Discatting. Discatting, and I love it. It's fun. It's fun. Jackie, I need to ask you. You know, how do you prepare for your performance? Some people meditate. Some people, when you get ready to go on stage, how do you prepare? Practice, practice, and there's a prayer that I say. There's a prayer every time I go out. This is my prayer. A oh Lord, allow me to be fabulous. Lord, I need to be fabulous today. Please, Lord, allow it. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, how do you keep your voice in shape? How do you train your voice, you know, so that it always sounds so good? Well, it's about practice. I practice every single day, at least three, four hours a day. And uh, it's about being prepared. You know, they say once there may be a time or when that time that door opens up, you need to be able to step through. You know, and sometimes uh, you never know when that door is going to open for you. And when that door opens, you need to be ready to pass through. I'm ready. <laughs> You're always I'm ready. ready. Always ready. If, if you had some young singer up and coming and wanted to do what you're doing, are there voice techniques? Are there training and schooling mm -hmm. that you go to other than practice? Mm -hmm. Can you be trained to sing? Oh, yes, most definitely. You can definitely be trained to sing. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's about vocal pitch. Mm -hmm. Being able to identify the pitches, uh, phrasing, mm -hmm. uh, and it, what a wonderful, what a wonderful craft, what a fun craft. <laughs> yeah. Have you always been a solo artist, or did you at one time sing with groups? And uh, I, I, talk a little bit about that. Well, I, yes, I've sang with several groups. Uh, also, I played bass while I was in school. I'm a bass player as well. Oh, so you play instruments as well? Yeah, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I gotta ask you. There's another sideline that you do. And you, you're so creative. You do other kinds of things. You do children's things. So tell tell us a little bit about other the other side of the Jack. The other side of me. The other side. Well, I'm a balloon artist, a balloon sculptor. Uh, I do a lot of children's parties. I also went to school for balloon decorating, so I am a certified balloon decorator, mm -hmm. and I love it. It's another form of entertainment, and uh, the children just enjoy. I'm almost like a superhero to the kids. <laughs> You know, so I, yes, I love it. Everything that I do brings me personal happiness. Okay. 
life is to live, and I enjoy living it. And I enjoy meeting wonderful people like yourself. Well, you're a superhero for Blunt and Company. I do appreciate you being here. How can our viewing audience get in touch with you if anyone wants to work with you, see you? Talk, just give us that about how we can reach you. Well, I have Facebook. Facebook, Jacqueline Harmon Johnson, mm -hmm. right? I have an Instagram, Newark Jazzy Johnson. I'm appearing at a beautiful bistro uh, called Martini 494 in Newark, New Jersey. I'm there every Thursday, every oh. Thursday and Sunday. We're going to be having um, a vocal jam session. So all the, we want all the vocalists that would like to come down. We have a live band, wonderful musicians, and we're there ready and willing to service you, to make your stay there just enjoyable and fun, because it's about having fun. It's about enjoying it. Oh, you, I can see that you love what you do. I love what I do. We at Blunt and Company, we at a blunt point of view, thank so much of you. Would you send us home with a couple more songs? We want to hit up some more of your beautiful ah, voice. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Thank you for Blunt and Company. Yes. Let's, let us, let's listen to the voice stylings of Miss Jackie Johnson one more time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Ah. Oh, what a beautiful day for a beautiful song. Ooh. Oh, that's a song about my baby. My baby don't care for shows. My baby don't care for clothes. My baby just cares for me. My baby, he don't care for cars and races. My baby, he don't care for those high tone places. Liz Taylor is not a style. Lana Turner always made him smile. It's just something, my baby, he can't see. No, he can't see. I wonder what's wrong with baby. My baby just cares, my baby just cares for me. My baby, he don't care for shows. My baby, he don't care for clothes. My baby just cares for me. My baby, he don't care for cars and races. My baby, he don't care for those are high tone places. Liz Taylor is not his style. Lana Turner always made him smile. It's just something, my baby, he can't see. No, he can't see. I wonder what's wrong with baby. My baby just cares for. He just says a prayer for. My baby just cares for me. Oh, my baby just cares for me. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. You know, that's one of the number one songs requested. And I just love what I do, and I'm just having a wonderful time. You know, there's so many songs from the from the vaudeville circuit, and uh, so many wonderful, wonderful songs. You know, and I got a chance to do my research, and I pulled a lot of those fabulous songs out, and I have some wonderful songs from that period that I'd like to share with you. You know, when you come down to see a live performance, we have a, a, a group sing-along, and we go back in time, and we sing some of those wonderful songs from that period. And here's this little gem. It's from that particular time. Yes, I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon. All right. Ah, I'm so happy to be here. Yes, you too. Ah, yeah. Ah, this is from the vaudeville circuit. We're going way, way back. Honey, there's a funny feeling around my heart, and it's about to drive your mama wild. It's something they call 
the cupid dot, the one your mama named your child. I went to the doctor the other day. He said, Jackie, you're as well as well could be here. But I said, Doctor, you don't know what's really worrying me. I want to be somebody's So I can give my loving all the time. That's right, that's right. I like him short, I like him tall, cause when he rocks this mama, Lord, he's gonna rock it all, I wanna be somebody, baby, down, so I can give my loving all the time, I wanna be somebody, so I As long as when he hugs his mama, he hugs it like this and like that. I want to be somebody's baby doll so I can give my loving all the time. I like them white, I like them black. As long as when he rocks mama, he rocks it front side and the back. I want to be somebody's baby doll so I can give my loving baby all the time. host of the Randy Lupo Show on Broadband Box Office. Wait, is that a tongue twister or an alliteration? Come meet my favorite people, comedians, actors, writers, spiritual people, and everyone in between. I'm looking forward to seeing you.
Hello, this is Dr. Barry Prostowski. I invite you to watch Courageous Doctors, an exciting new show on broadband box office about how health care is affecting you today. I'm Lou Chesenia. And I am Daisy. And check us out at the Greater Jersey Buzz. At broadbandboxoffice.com. Broadbandboxoffice.com. Remember that. The finest talent in the world are on these microphones every month. I kid you not. Yes, we will have a variety of different guests ranging from comedians, entertainers, singers, politicians, you name it, we're going to bring it to you with light conversation, a lot of information, but most of all, a lot of fun. Check us out at the Greater Jersey Buzz. And you'll see Daisy, too. And you'll see Lou. <laughs>